Hello and good evening, and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 16th, 2020. Well, today we found out that a political, a polit, a political reporter, sorry, Jay Sherman said that Congress is coming close to a deal on the $900 billion stimulus or relief package that has a lot less um, state and local government funding, if any. It has no liability protection, but it does have a second stimulus check in it. If you stick with me, I'll give you a bit more details about the stimulus check. Um, plus, also, a CNN reporter said that as uh, Kevin McCarthy was leaving the uh, Mitch McConnell's office, that he thinks that everything is going well. And when he was asked that if the COVID relief bill would be done tonight, he said that he, he thinks that they're close. Pelosi was asked if local state and local government funding plus liability protection were in the stimulus. She said, we're talking about going forward. We're not talking about that. Basically what she meant by she, we're not talking about that is by saying that we're not going to go into the, the details about the state and local funding and liability protection. She also said that they were here, they were there late. And there's this morning, there's morning communications, the secretary and each other, these are exact words I'm surprised to say, very, very poor grammar and pronunciation, but whatever, um, each other and tomorrow, we'll be back early and we will be on schedule to get the job done. So basically, even though she, I guess, was a bit groggy last night, she said that they're going to be there today early and they're not going to leave until the job gets done. And Mitch McConnell has also stated about the same thing. He said that they will not leave office until a stimulus package is taken care of. And even if that means piggybacking it or attaching it to the government funding bill. And so basically, Pelosi, um, Pelosi's take is wrong. If you remember her take a while ago, I talked about how she thinks nothing is better than something. Well, now we're proving her wrong, showing her that something is better than nothing because there's people that need something and not nothing. And the stimulus check will be in the range of $600 to $700 for individuals. And there is from, that's basically game from John Thune, the number two Republican in the Senate. Most likely, this new bill will be the take of Mnuchin's old bill which is $600 for adults, $600 for qualifying dependents aged 6 to 17 years of age or younger. But this may also impact on the unemployment duration as far as the benefits of the duration go. Basically meaning that since the unemployment thing won't start until January, they wanted to take it to go to uh, 16 weeks, which is four months, they're cutting it off a month. So it'd be go 12 weeks instead of 16 weeks. So you get for, you go from January 1st until the end of March instead of until the end of April. Well, I mean, I don't know how you actually feel about that one. I mean, you're getting something still. Everyone's getting something. So it's, it's not what we all wanted. But for now, something is better than nothing. I got to say that. I'm sorry to say, you know, because it'll help me out. 600 bucks, even 700 bucks would help me out a lot. But we'll see what they come up with as the week progresses, and hopefully they'll have a bill written up and passed on Friday so they can get their skanky butts outside the Senate and go on their vacation like they want to. And, and there will also, let's see here. There are also those in the Senate that believe we should get a $1,200 check. That's $1,200 per adult. $2,400 for married, uh, married, as well as $600, I'm sorry, $500 per dependence. And this, there are people that actually made try to dis, dis, derail this proposal because the whole stimulus check thing. And the funny thing is there's also $325 billion for small business loans. That is more than the bipartisan proposal that was given up of the $908 billion one. I actually think that uh, Mitch McConnell basically sort of mopped the floor with Pelosi because he's giving out less unemployment. He's giving out less stimulus checks. 
he's given out more small business money. So I think he sort of somehow got Plozy to agree to his situation and take it or leave it, you know? Plus, um, McConnell and Pence both say that they will take the COVID-19 vaccine to reassure public that it is safe. The FDA has also approved the Moderna's emergency use of the COVID vaccine. So now that we have two vaccines out there, one from Moderna, the other from Pfizer. And that's actually, I say it's pretty good. They, they're, trying to do, they're trying to ramp out, like I think, 6 million doses by, I think, the beginning of spring, and like, I think the beginning of spring in April or sometime in the spring. So at least 6 million people will actually be vaccinated. So that's actually a good thing. But for now, I want to wish all my viewers and everyone who else who sees this video a very happy and wonderful Wednesday. I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow as more details come available. And I am hoping that they will actually increase the stimulus checks to more than 700 bucks. Because the people need more than just 700 bucks. That's not going to survive them. If that's the only form of income they have, that's not going to survive them for, for much at all. So until next time, you guys have an excellent night. And I will speak to you tomorrow. You have a great night. Bye.